coding made easy. easy. As well. So it's gonna give us uh, both of the values that we want. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna say open file, open file peak is equal to single quotes backslash n. Then we're gonna say load counter dot x equal to zero. And we're gonna say load counter dot y plus plus. And we're gonna say else load counter dot x plus plus. So what is going on? Open file dot peak will check for the next character within the file. If the next character is a new line, then we actually want to change how we're gonna be storing it in the file. So this is how it's going to work, okay? This is how it's gonna work. So right now, let's pretend it's just starting load counter X and load counter Y is equal to zero. So it scrolls to the program. Um, so let's scroll through it. So it's gonna get this value, X and X, okay? So if we go here, uh, both, they're not digits, so it's gonna set map zero, zero, equal to negative one, um, to negative one, and a vector two, I have negative one in each. So what it's gonna do is go down, and it's gonna say load counter x plus plus, right? Because it's not a new line yet. So it's gonna say load counter x plus plus. So it's going to go to the, it's gonna get a new value. So our new value is going to be this, okay? So it's gonna get x, x again, okay? And we're gonna go back to our program, and it's going to say map load counter, map one, zero is equal to this. We're gonna increase it, and it's gonna get this value right here. And it's gonna say map two, zero. So it's gonna keep on doing that until we hit a new line. So once we reach the end of this line, so once we get right here, um, it detects that we have a new line. So what it's gonna do is reset load counter x to zero and increase load counter y. So then, when we get this value right here, it's gonna say, uh, store this in map zero, one. Then it's gonna increase it, store it in map one, one, map, uh, two, one, so on and so forth, and then it's gonna lay it out perfectly the way we actually need it to be la laid out, right? And uh, so that's all we really gotta do. And then after this while loop right here, what we're gonna do is just say load counter dot y plus plus, okay? And you'll see why we do this in a second. So we want to have our render window. And we'll say SF video mode. We'll put 640 by 480. And we'll say loading maps. And we'll put easy. And so we'll say uh, while window dot is open, we'll get an event. We'll set an event, sorry. And while window dot poll event, we'll just make a switch. Event type dot type. And we'll say case SF event closed. This stuff should be familiar to you. You should be familiar to this. We'll close the window and we'll break. Okay, so now that we got that, now we, we've we loaded the map and now we have to have a way to draw it. So first we're just gonna call window.clear and we'll have window.display. So now we're gonna make two for loops. So this one is gonna loop till load counter dot x and this one's gonna loop to load counter dot y so now we're gonna say now we have to check to see we're gonna say that if map i j dot x is equal to negative one or and or say not equal to negative one and map ij 
not equal map i j dot y not equal to negative one then we want to do something and then here what we're going to do is we're going to say that our tiles dot set position we're going to set the position to i times 32 since my each tile is 32 pixels that's the width and height of my tile okay so each one is 32 by 32 pixels so we're going to set i times 32 and j times 32 and then we'll say set texture rect and we're going to take a sf int rect and in this int rect we're going to say uh we want to say map i j dot x times 32 map I J dot Y times 32 32 and 32 and then last but not least we'll say window draw tiles now I will be explaining this but we want to draw this just to see if it works correctly so we got a problem right here and um, says access violation reading so let's check this out for a second oh I made a stupid error I forgot to put J's less than load counter Y and as we can see it is drawn the exact uh, way that we wanted it to so we have nothing in the background it just draws the tiles that we actually wanted it to indeed draw now now like a lot of you are gonna want to have like a, a tile for like say the sky or something like that right like a, a, a light blue tile or something to draw the sky right and you could do that but why do that when you could just have a default background color that could represent the sky and what we would do is just in window dot clear we will just say sf color and um let's just specify um let's just say 240 255 okay and what this is gonna do it's gonna clear the screen to that color now by default it clears the screen to a black color but what this does is it clears it to a blue color and we draw everything on top of that light blue color so now it looks like we have sky and everything instead of having to draw a bunch of different tiles to represent the sky which does a lot less on the hardware now before I end this tutorial I have to explain what's going on here to you guys so right here I think this is pretty simple to understand um, but what this is going to do is that if our okay what we did up here is that if it was XX in our text file so if it was like this uh, what we oh sorry what we did is let's look at the code so what we did is that we set the values to negative one negative one so we want to check if any of the values are negative uh, if both of the values aren't negative one meaning that they are a legit value then we're going to set the position at i times 32 and j times 32 so what does that mean so uh by default the first tile i is going to be equal to zero j is going to be equal to zero so we're going to draw the first tile at zero times 32 j times 32 so drawing the first tile at coordinate zero zero and the next one when j increases by one we're drawing the second tile at uh, 0 times 32 which is 0 on the x coordinate j times 32 which is 32 1 times 32 so we're going to start drawing it on time number 32 in the y coordinate so it's going to look like this so we're going to draw this 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 tile this tile this tile this tile this tile this tile this one and that one it's going to go here it's going to increase i by one it's going to keep on drawing it so on and so forth until it draws the whole map okay so it's gonna draw that now for a set texture rect so as I showed you before we have a bunch of different colors but we need to uh, we need to specify which color we actually indeed want to draw so this is where our map comes in 
So we say map ij dot x times 32 map ij dot y times 32 and the width and height is equal to 32. So let's look at this right here. So let's look at this tile right here. So map ij dot x would be equal to zero. Map ij dot y would be equal to one. Okay. So let's look at this right at our code. So 0 times 32 is equal to 0, 1 times 32 is equal to 32, okay? So, let's look at this. So 0 in the y coordinate, right, 32, 0 in the x coordinate, 32 in the y coordinate, meaning that we're going to start drawing from here. The width is 32, the height is 32. So we crop out this blue tile right here, and that's what we draw to the screen. And we do that for all the other tiles, and it draws the corresponding tile that we want to draw to the screen. So um, that is it for this tutorial. Um, I know it was uh, fairly long for the these um, videos, uh, but I hope you grasped it. I hope you grasped the concept. Sorry, and um, and if you found this uh, hard, you can always look at the SML two point. That's for my 1.6 loading tile maps easy. It's easier than this one, um, but uh, this one's a bit more complicated, but I believe it's handled better. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I made a brand new Twitter account just for Coding Made Easy. It's dedicated to Coding Made Easy. It's at Coding Made Easy. It's really simple. Uh, check out my new website as well, CodingMadeEasy.ca. I redid a whole bunch of stuff. It's looking kind of cool. There's a community. There's a chat bar. You can talk to everybody in the community. Uh, there's a point system. There's a lot of cool features. And um, yeah, and don't forget to like me on Facebook, like me on Google Plus, and and don't forget to like, comment, rate, and subscribe and on this video. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this, and bye.